The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. I've been waiting for you today, you know. Hello there, Holy. Sorry we are late. Freckles had to do her hair. No way. We were late because you had to eat that entire cake. Anyway, now that we are here, can you please tell us a story? And we promise to pay attention. All right, then. The story I'm about to tell you today is about Solomon in all his glory. Solomon had become rich as well as wise just as God had promised. He had married an Egyptian princess, so he had a huge kingdom. All the land that was under him had to pay taxes, so Solomon had become very rich. He had a big army of almost 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horses. Ships from his kingdom sailed down to the Red Sea for trade and brought back spices, gold, ivory, and exotic birds. Soon his kingdom became famous for its wealth. And travelers from all over the world came to see the kingdom in all its glory. Solomon decided to build himself a grand palace in Jerusalem. The palace took 13 years to complete. Solomon was helped by the king of Tyre, Hiram. The glory of Solomon had spread far and wide. One day, Queen Sheba came to visit Jerusalem. She wanted to see if the tales of King Solomon's riches and grand palace were true or not. She brought many gifts with her from Arabia. When she reached Jerusalem, she was truly amazed. There was peace and prosperity in the promised land during Solomon's reign. She said, Thank God for giving you so much. Not only that, but he has also made you wise and your glory has spread far and wide. Jerusalem is indeed the promised land as people call it. I hope you listened carefully, children. My question is, where did Queen Sheba come from? Oh, I know, I know. Queen Sheba came from Arabia, right? Yes, Tubby, that is right. Very good. Hope you love the story. Till next time, bye-bye. The Holy Tales